Hi everyone, hope you're all doing really well. Got another quick video for you today. It's uh, it's currently Saturday. Um, I popped out today to um, a place called The Big Red. Um, for anyone who lives in the Grimsby and Cleethorpes area, you might know The Big Red. It's on Wilton Road Industrial Estate. Um, it's, it's quite good price wise. Some things aren't particularly cheap um, compared to supermarkets but some things are um, but they do a good range of stuff in there and I just fancied a little a little trip out and a bit of a change really um, this morning I just had done loads of house chores and I needed a bit of a, a break and get out so anyway how is everybody hope you've all had a good week um, I think last time I did a video was a couple of weeks ago and I mentioned that um, I've been off for a couple of weeks annual leave and I was going back to work and I had some uh, well I've been having a bit of a difficult time at work but um, I've had a positive outcome with that and I am now working in I'm working for the same company but I'm working in a different area of of that company a different department and um, I'm really looking forward to it um, well I've, I've just done my first week of it but I'm looking forward to continuing with that going forward because I think I'm just going to be a lot happier there so that's some positive news for me this week um let me know in the comments what you've all been up to did you get have a nice easter let me know if you got up to anything good um i'm just going to show you the bits that i got from the big red um it's basically just like a massive discount store i mean it is huge it's like a big warehouse because it's on this this industrial estate and they they do kind of um an outside bit with your typical garden center type stuff like plants and gravel ballast that kind of thing fencing but inside it's kind of um it's kind of like a giant pound stretcher really um but yeah it is it is good so i'll just show you some bits that i've got i'll go through all the boring stuff first um but just might be helpful for any local people who are after a bargain to show you i got this <laughs> i got this whopping great big uh pack of blue roll um it's I've not, it's not a brand that I've seen until I moved up to this area, but I keep seeing it in the cheap discount places around here, this Foxy uh, Foxy brand toilet roll. Um, but this is a 16 pack, and they're doing a collab at the moment with this, um, uh, what are they called? Um, 3B, um, it's uh, Foxy has signed an agreement with 3B for the protection of bees, an indispensable insect. Thanks to the tireless work of pollination, bees are responsible for one third of the world's food production and over 70% of the plant species living on the planet. So yeah, they've done a, a collab with them to support the bees, which I think is really good. And it's all 100% recyclable packaging. I do prefer paper packaging, which I know is becoming more widespread now but um this type of plastic is at least recyclable so that's something um i don't know about anyone else but the uh, curbside recycling in my area is terrible um <laughs> i uh, i used to live in northamptonshire and compared to the recycling that was available there curbside it was a lot um a lot more varied and here there's quite a lot of stuff that they just don't take which I find quite disappointing. Um, so luckily my local Tesco does take certain types of plastic that they don't collect roadside. So that's another thing I have to now collect, but <laughs> it's all for a good cause. So I have this uh, this big bag, this big plastic bag, and I basically just use that for stuffing all the plastics in that aren't recyclable curbside. And I wait until it's full up and then I take it down Tesco and I put it down there. So that includes all of my cat food pouches, um what's the matter babes you're not going out now it's getting dark um <laughs> Teo is still moaning to go out um she's the indoor cat that I've been letting well she's not so indoor anymore because she's been going out the last couple of weeks but um yeah she's been really enjoying it she's she's actually been really really good she's coped well uh at first she was a bit nervous um I'm still nervous of her going out but I I don't let her go out at night time because of the foxes and during the day when I'm on my lunch break um, I tend to, if I'm making my own lunch, I'll just let her out for a little bit, supervise. But she, she's really liking it. So, but anyway, this is a 16 pack, and this was only 4.99, I think. Yep, 4.99, which I thought was really good for 16. Um, so yeah, if you've got large family, 
and you look into stock up. Um, the quality is not too bad either. It is, um, it's only two ply, but it is quite soft and it's that quilted type, so it's, it's quite nice. Um, I've got one of these sprays. I've been contemplating getting one of these sprays for ages. Um, I did used to have one, but I don't know, since I moved, I've got no idea where it's gone. It's probably in the garage somewhere. Um, but I wanted to get a little spray bottle just for my indoor plants, just for misting the leaves. And I think this was like one pound. I'm pretty sure it was a pound. Yeah. So yeah, not bad for just a little spray bottle. Um, just to keep the leaves nice and shiny and dust free. Uh, my kettle is really bad at the moment. Little tip for anybody, any of you. Um, citric acid is really, really good for uh, descaling kettles. Um, well, cleaning purposes um, all round really. If you're looking for a cleaner, sort of trying to go a little bit more pl plastic free, um, this uh, this company is really good, DP. Uh, they're called Dry Pack DP. They are a family run business. I think they've been running since the 70s. So they've been going quite some time, um, but they do loads of sort of more natural type cleaning products. Most of which does come in cardboard. Um, not all of it, I think, but some of it, and um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's more it's more natural and it's less less harmful to the environment. Uh, but they do all sorts of things. I mean, to give you an idea, they've actually mentioned on the side here they do soda crystals, which is what back in the day <laughs> what people used to actually wash their clothes with, and you can still now if you if you're looking for an alternative to laundry detergent, you can use um, soda crystals. They do the same job. I used to use them in the past, so I can vouch they do clean your clothes. Um, bicarbonate of soda, they do white vinegar, liquid soap, oxy boost, bicarb cream, liquid soda crystals and borax substitute. The borax substitute again is something that I, I have bought in the past. Um, I used to use it as a mix in with the soda crystals to make my own laundry detergent and then I would just add some natural soap flakes to that. I would grate my own, I'd get a natural bar of um, soap and then I would grate it and mix it in with the soda crystals and the borax substitute. Borax is banned in the UK. Um, I don't think it's banned in America and probably other countries as well, but um, it is banned in the UK, which um, is a bit ridiculous really, because they, they banned it because they said, oh, well, it's harmful, but I mean, all chemicals, all cleaning chemicals that we buy, I mean, bleach is, is, is dangerous. Um, most of them are dangerous. So I don't really know why they banned that over, over other things, but there we go. Um, but yeah, they, they bought out a borax substitute, so it does the same job. Um, so, but yeah, this was only, um, I think this was only a pound as well. Mm. Can't find it, where are you? One pound 19. No, one seventy nine. There you go, one seventy nine. Um, so yeah, you can use this for all different cleaning, uh, cleaning things. Uh, you can put it in washing machines to clean the washing machine. You can use it to clean dishwashers, act as a general cleaner. If you dissolve a certain amount in water and put it into a spray bottle, you can use it as a general cleaner around your home. Um, I bought it for the kettle. You can also use it to descale your iron. Um, but yeah, I've, I've bought it for my kettle because my kettle is really bad. <laughs> the water in this area is quite, uh, quite bad actually. And, um, yeah, I've uh, I've got a lot of lime scale build up in there, so that's what I've got this for. So yeah, you basically fill the kettle with water, um, add a third of the packet, which is good because I have some left over to use for other things. Leave it to stand for fifteen minutes and then rinse. Um, so yeah, I've got that for the kettle. Some boring paracetamol. It was the last packet in the shop. I did um, all my chores this morning, and my back was aching quite badly afterwards. And I hadn't sat down all morning, so before I went out, I went to take some paracetamol, and it was the last two. And I do not like being out of paracetamol with my with my back being the way it is. And um, Lidl's is terrible for stocking paracetamol. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. Every time I go in Lidl, they don't have any. They have the paracetamol plus caffeine in abundance. I, I don't have caffeine, I'm caffeine free. So um, yeah, that was a bit of a pain really because it's Lidl's the main place. I mean, I shop in all different places, but for my food, I mainly tend to go there because of the pricing, but also because it's the nearest one to me. Um, 
but yeah they just don't stock it so yeah last one on the shelf i nabbed it <laughs> uh, that was only 79p i got some ainsley harriet aromatic thai chicken and lemongrass soup cup of soup again handy for lunches all recyclable packaging which is good these were only 89p which i thought was really good for ainsley harriet yeah 89p but uh yeah i love i love any any um like thai thai spices like thai green curry uh thai, i mean i like thai red curry as well but thai green curry is probably my favorite actually um i've got oh yeah <laughs> I'm actually really, I haven't never seen these before. Um, this is Yorkshire Tea, the Tailors of Harrogate Yorkshire Tea brand, decaf bedtime brew with vanilla and nutmeg, which I thought looked really nice. I do love a cup of tea. And um, yeah, it's uh, got vanilla and nutmeg in it. So it's supposed to make a really nice nighttime brew. There's a little owl on the side there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. They were, um, I think, £2.49. This is where I say the shop isn't always um, great for its discounts. Sometimes it's not any cheaper than any other type of supermarket, but um, I'm pretty sure this was to, uh, £2.19 £2 for 40 So yeah, not too bad. Um, I just got another uh, Mighty Oak air freshener for my car because my other one has lost its um i actually did have it in a previous video it was the one that i bought around christmas time and it was the little gingerbread one it was like it, it was wickford and co from home bargains and it was in that um sort of little um like almost like a yankee candle shaped um little jar but it was a gingerbread scented air freshener for the car and T to be honest it's not run out yet I mean we're in April now and I can still smell it particularly when I put the heaters on in the car I can still smell it but it's not as strong as it used to be um so yeah I've just bought another one but this one was Oud Exotic which I thought was a bit different than your usual sort of new car smell or citrus or whatever not seen that one before so yeah and I, I love Oud I've got a um uh what do you call it a room freshener like a room mist in Oud so I think that was only, um, they were a pound each uh, in, in that shop. They did all different scents, but yeah, a pound for that. I was dangerously low on my toilet cleaner, so I just got a top up of toilet cleaner. Unfortunately, their, their range in there wasn't great. Um, and lately I've been trying to get, sort of steer, steer clear of this, this one, purely for cost reasons. Um, and sort of going with cheaper ones like um, Fabulosa, which is cruelty free, but it's cheaper. It's only a pound a bottle. Um, but I don't always go to B&M and that's the only place that I can get that brand from. Um, the other one that I get is just Tesco's, Tesco's own brand, because their bottle of toilet cleaner is, I think it's 79p, which is still like, re like the, the prices of, of old. <laughs> it's really, really cheap. And Tesco's own brand products, again, they don't test on animals. So um, I know that I'm, I'm safe with that one. But yeah, um, I do really like the Harpic brand. It's just it's just getting so pricey. Again, this wasn't really that that much of a bargain. This one it was one forty nine, I think. Uh, yes, one forty nine, which actually might even be more expensive than um, than B and M. But like I said, they I, I was desperate. I'm like this down on my on my toilet cleaner at the moment, and uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I just got a little top off shampoo. Who remembers Wash and Go? <laughs> it's not a brand you see in all of the, the 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 bigger shops much anymore. It's a real old brand, and um, they had a couple of different ones in there. The reason I got this is purely because of size. It's a small one. It's only a two hundred and fifty mil. But since I've taken up swimming, I I can't be doing with taking my own shampoo at home. And putting it in my swim bag and taking it with me every time because then the bottle gets wet and then I've got to dry it out and I can't be doing with it so basically I keep a small bottle of shampoo in my swim bag all the time and then I don't have to worry about lugging the because the one I've got at home for my home shower is like quite a big bottle and I don't want to take that 
um, but yeah I was running a bit low so that's all that is but this one is water mint it's really really nice they had an exotic fruit scent one as well and one called sport but I wasn't really that fond of that one but yeah this one is water mint but the good thing about this is it's hair and body so you can use it on both so there's another reason why it's handy for when you're going swimming, just purely for time reasons. You can just use it all over, done and dusted, get in and out of the shower. Um, my shower cubicles at the local swimming pool, um, they're not, they don't lock the shower stalls. They don't lock. So you can't, you have to shower with your, with your, with your swim, swimming costume still on. Because, well, you don't have to, I suppose, if, but I wouldn't want to risk you know not having it on and then someone like opening the door um but yeah they have these um these sort of tempered glass frosted glass doors and they don't lock they literally just push closed and you can just push them open which i don't think and they're unisex they're unisex showers so you could be literally standing right next to a stranger who's a bloke in the, in the stall next to you with with a door that doesn't lock so yeah I, I do wash in my swimming costume, which is a bit of a pain because you can't really wash properly. It's quite difficult, but um, anyway, I've gone waffling on. That's that. This was only a pound, which I thought was actually really good. So yeah, that was a pound. Um, so that's that one. And wash and go are also cruelty free. I did check. I wasn't sure. Uh, they are actually, the 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 brand, is um, Italian, which I didn't know until I read it earlier today. But yes, I looked it up and it was Italian. Uh, Contour, it's called, and um, yeah, made in Italy, it says. Um, well, I mean, it might be, it might not necessarily be Italian. It, it, it might just be made in Italy. I don't know if the, if the, if the brand itself is Italian, but yeah, don't always, find things that are cruelty free from Italy I have to say <laughs> so but that one is definitely I checked um oh I'm really looking forward to these last <coughs> last weekend excuse me I went to a transport museum which probably sounds really really boring but actually I quite enjoyed it it was a transport museum in uh oh blimey where was it, it wasn't Alford I can't remember now to be honest um it was down it was further south anyway I think it was sort of no it's completely gone I'm afraid I can't remember oh no hold on um North Highcombe North Highcombe near Lincoln um it's kind of if you're looking at a bird's eye view of a map of Lincoln city it's southwest it's like a village southwest of um of the main city um but yeah they have a transport museum there and it was all like old buses from sort of the 20s uh, um 20s and onwards um where they've got the open spiral staircases at the back uh these big double deckers all in beautiful colors like the old maroons and greens bottle greens um they had old jags in there they had uh triumphs they had um austin's they had the little Austins, like 1920. They remind me of the cars that you see in, in uh, Peaky Blinders. Um, but yeah, they, they had some really, really beautiful cars and, and vehicles, um, even sort of transport goods. Like there was an old co uh, cooperative wholesale goods truck um, from the 1920s. So but anyway, I went there with my mum and they were doing free rides on some of the vintage buses, which was really fun. They just take you out of the village, out into the countryside, around all the countryside roads and back again. I'd say it's probably, it's probably about a 10 to 15 minute draw, um 10 to 15 minute ride that they give you and we went on twice we went on a 1971 uh single decker bus but it had an open um open roof to it and then we went on the the one that was my favorite was i don't know the exact year but it was a late 1920s single decker bus in this beautiful dark sort of bottle green and it was one of those ones where in the you, you had to, to to turn the engine on you had to crank it with the handle at the front 
<laughs> and it was really really noisy it, almost, it sounded almost like an old like an old train rather than a car um it had sort of a train noise to it but yeah you had to crank it to get it going and it was it was quite smelly to be honest when you got on because of that it's so old it's like that you know that musty smell but it was all part of the fun but yeah i really it was just such a beautiful um hello it was such a beautiful vehicle but yeah i really enjoyed it um while we were in there we went uh, we just stopped and had like a cup of tea and a, a cake in the cafe they didn't have a lot left to be honest because we left it quite late to, uh, to actually go in the cafe and <laughs> everybody had uh, bought all, most of the cakes and um, they were completely out of cakes actually they were they had like all homemade cakes and i was really looking forward to a slice of that but they'd all run out uh, but they did have little tea cakes left um which they hadn't made themselves but um yeah so i, I just really got me in the mood for some tea cakes so i got these these are uh, lee's brand 12 jam tea cakes jam scented mallow on biscuit base covered in chocolate flavored coating these are also only 82 calories per tea cake which i thought was really good because i am still trying to lose weight at the moment um i'm not on a i'm not, I'm not on a diet i <laughs> this is only this is my personal opinion if you're on a diet you do you that's absolutely fine this is just my personal opinion but i do think diets are a bit of a fad because if you restrict your well i said diet isn't isn't necessarily a fad you can you can diet but i think restricting certain foods out of your diet is not very productive and i don't i don't think it really works to be honest because if you're going to deny yourself something that you like chances are you're going to fail because if you say like right well i'm not having chocolate well come on you're what you're never going to have chocolate again <laughs> who are you kidding so it's all about moderation and i think there's nothing wrong with eating sweet things and and eating what you want you just have to make sure that you're not eating 10 of them um and i was really, really I, I am a bad snacker i am i hold my hands up i am a terrible terrible snacker and i think a lot of it is boredom um and like a comfort thing because because i gave up smoking a few years ago and i don't drink either i don't really have any vices and for me food has become my replacement so I would just sit in the evening and I would quite happily go through a packet of biscuits, not just have one or two. I could quite happily eat a good pack, a whole pack of biscuit, which I know it's terrible, um, or a whole bag of sweets. Or if I'm going to buy a chocolate bar, and I'm not talking about a single, single helping chocolate bar. I'm talking about like the slabs that you get, the big rectangular slabs. I could quite happily polish off a whole one of those because I just can't stop. So but that's what I'm trying to stop doing think don't don't restrict yourself but just t tone down the amount you're having so you know don't say to yourself oh i'm not having cake i'm not having chocolate i'm not having biscuits just don't have a whole packet of it <laughs> so these because they are lower calorie i thought they would be good to have in the evenings when i just fancy a little something sweet but I'm going to try just to only have one of them. I have been good. I have lost some a few pounds over the last few weeks. Um, because what I'm doing... God, that wind. What I'm doing now is... I'm saying to myself... Right, I'm having a pudding after I've eaten my dinner. I'm having a pudding. But I'll say to myself, right, I'm only... If, I've, if I have a packet of crisps, then I can't have anything else. Or if I have a tea cake, it's only a tea cake. Or if I have a small little chocolate biscuit bar then I'm not allowed anything else. Or I do, I am a bit of a sucker for sponge and custard, but I'll have a small portion rather than half a cake. I'll have like one small portion and a bit of custard. But then I'm not allowed, whereas before I could quite happily polish that off and then go on to eat biscuits and chocolate and crisps. There's like, no, not allowed anything. You have to pick one thing and that's it. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. And it seems to be, well, that in conjunction with the, the swimming now that it's getting lighter i've started going out for walks again more in the evenings along the beach so um i think all of that is kind of working and i am slowly losing some pounds so that's good news those tea cakes i didn't give you the price they weren't a lot i don't think just over a pound if i remember rightly tea cakes 119 one pound 19 for 12 it's not bad really is it um 
houseplant mist. This was more expensive. I think this was four ninety. 5.99 5.99 but it is i had one of these before and it was quite good but um that was a half the size of this bottle and um i've run out of that one but this is really good this stuff because it's for all types of house plants it's basically like a liquid nutrient and you can spray it on the leaves themselves but you can apart from it's the only type of plant you can't use this on is where the um it says all house plants, cacti and succulents, but do not mist the flowers um, or any hairy leaved plants. So if you've got like fuzzy, fuzzy plants, don't don't spray it on that. But you can spray it down into the soil because what you can use this for is to spray directly onto the plant. But you can also use it to spray onto the soil so that when you then water um, your plant, it's taking this down into into the soil and um, giving nutrition to the roots but it is very very good and they do sell this in uh, Pennell's garden center as well um, if anyone is interested in getting some of this but yeah it does it does work really well it helped to boost the size like the growth of my house plants um, I just got some more decaf coffee because again I was almost out and if I don't have a cup of coffee in the morning I will cry um, that was not particularly cheap either that was uh, three pound something um, mm -hmm. I can't find that one why why are you not on here Oh my goodness, I can't find it. Bedtime tea, lemongrass soup. Doo -doo. Nope. Plant mist. I haven't gotten a freebie, have I? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> it's right down the bottom. <laughs> £3.49, so yeah, not, um, oh, it's actually, that is the actual RRP price, I've just realised, the RRP price is is £3.49, and that is what they charge me, because sometimes you'll get the RRP, and then a discount shop will sell it cheaper, they didn't, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing, but I was desperate, and I wasn't going to, I knew I weren't going to go anywhere else today, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have to get some, um, Today is not really about the bargains, it's just about showing you what I got. Um, I mean, some things are bargains, but it's just about showing you what I got and telling you a little bit about that shop in case you've not been or fancy going, because they do do, as I say, quite a wide range of stuff in there. This I'm really looking forward to, having just spoken about a diet, <laughs> but I will only have a bit at a time. I got this uh, West Cork Bakery Bonoffi cake. I love banoffee. It's a sp sticky sponge cake with this sort of banoffee topping and little curls, um, little curls of um, toffee, uh, not toffee flavoured, um, I think it was like caramel flavoured little uh, chocolate curls. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But this is what I mean, that, if I'm gonna have that as a pudding, it will be a small sliver slice with a bit of custard, not half the blimming cake which I could quite easily do but I won't um that was uh £2.49 that was which actually that's not bad for a cake that size because I am planning on making that last me at least a week if not more um I just got some more new Andrex um flushable tissues these are the fine to flush certification so that they are biodegradable and they're not going to clog up the uh, the waterways and recyclable packaging. Um, yeah, not much else to say about those really. Um, I do like to have those in stock at home. I just got a top up of these sachets. I find these so, so handy. There's a sausage one. Coleman's. Coleman's are really, really good. They, they definitely know their stuff when it comes to uh, tasty sachets. This is a chicken supreme one, which is like a creamy one. I haven't tried this one before, so I'm looking forward to trying that. You dice up the chicken and fry it off, 
add the seasoning sachet with milk to make a creamy sauce and then you pour that over the chicken and then you leave it to simmer for a while in pan for about eight minutes it says so it's quite quick and like like the um picture shows you could have it with rice and veg or we could have it with anything you want really but rice is what i'm planning to do with it so yeah those are really good and those are under a pound where's my receipt gone my receipt has become buried buried under everything that i've got the sachets 89p yeah 89p those are so that's good i just like to have them as a like cupboard stock up um, I've got some more treats for my kitties. I've got the Felix Seaside ones. They absolutely... <laughs> She's already clocked the packet. Do you want one? You're not daft, are you? As soon as you hear the packet, that's it. You haven't had these for a while, have you? Hmm? You haven't had these for a while? Oh, they're a bit big for you. She can't eat a whole one. Uh, she's so tiny. She can't eat a whole one in one go. She had to bite it in half. Here you go. Here you go. One more. All right. Let me throw one down down the uh, hallway. Ready? Go. So yeah, these were. Um, I think they were a pound. £1.29 for those. The Dreamies are getting so expensive. I know you can buy those um, for any cat owners out there. You know, you can get like the, the super sized bags of Dreamies for like 2 99 the massive ones. But the, the average size bags, like this sort of size, they're just creeping up and up. They're getting quite expensive now, but these ones were cheaper. <laughs> Back for more. Right, what you're having one more, she says. Famous last words, eh? It won't be one more. Go. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I'm onto the good stuff now. That was all sort of like the boring stock up bits, but I did get some really nice. Oh no, I've got one more thing. Got one more boring thing to show you. <laughs> I love ginger beer. I managed to get this um, bar brand, which is a really old brand. Um, I, it's I don't know if it's a UK brand, but it's certainly one that's been around in our UK pubs for like decades and decades. So it's quite a quite a trusted brand um, and it's their ginger beer but I love ginger beer ginger ale anything ginger it's got to be nice and fiery um, preferably with real ginger root in it I haven't actually checked if this one does you know I don't think it does it doesn't say it might just be flavoring which is a bit disappointing but yeah um, you can get ones like the traditional ones that have got real ginger root in them and they are really fiery <laughs> so yeah that was only £1.19 which for a big two litre bottle I thought was pretty good so I'm on to the, the nice things now that I got I decided to treat myself because um, I recently tidied up and cleaned all of my conservatory and got it looking all nice and I've added a lamp out there now because the at some point there was some proper electrics in there and uh, there was these there's these two lights they're really dated and horrible but they're, they're not connected anymore and i got an electrician to look at them and basically they're they're done for they know i need a complete rewire in there they're gonna have to strip all the cabling out and put all new lighting in and to be honest for the amount of times i use the conservatory because in the winter i don't really i don't really use it um it's just not really worth the money so i just decided to stick a lamp in there so I've got this really nice, um, what do you call it? That rose, not rose quartz, salt salt lamp. Uh, salt, is it rock salt? I think it's like a, called a rock salt lamp, those pink um, Himalayan. It's uh, pink. And um, yeah, I had one of those. They're supposed to release ions, which are supposed to be good for you and good for the, good for the air. So yeah, I've, I've got one of those. And it doesn't let off a particularly bright light. And I was using it in my hallway, but... Um, I've swapped it out for another lamp that I had, which was up in the guest room upstairs, but I don't have any one stay, so I thought I might as well just use what I've got and save myself money than go out and buy, buy different lamps that, you know, well, I've got one spare that I can use. So I have taken out the lamp from the spare bedroom upstairs and I've popped it in the hallway, which is a lot brighter, and I'm using the softer light of this Himalayan salt lamp in my conservatory, because like I say, I don't go out there a lot. 
um, but now that it's getting nicer in the evenings and getting lighter I will be spending more time in there so um, yeah I've popped that in there and then that saves me some money um, but the theme in there I want to put some seaside bits in I'm a bit seaside mad um, I've already decorated my shower room and my toilet room in a seaside theme and I have started creeping some seaside it wasn't really on purpose it's just because I like seaside stuff but um, I got these um, cushion covers from Tinu, which I did in a previous video last autumn and um, one of them's got like coastal birds on the shoreline and the other one's got fish on and I've got these cushion covers to replace the ones that were there when I moved in so I took the old cushion covers off um, and I just kept the inner filling and I just put these new cushion covers on which again is a cheap way of changing up your uh, decor if you're if you're bored rather than just get rid of a whole cushion just get the cushion covers because they're that's cheaper so yeah, I've got those and I've just gotten some new little seaside themed ornaments which I'm going to put in my conservatory so hopefully it will end up looking sort of quite coastal in there excuse me Taya she's being nosy come in you're being nosy and say hello to everybody say hello Hey, hello. Doo -doo. <laughs> you want another another treat? Hey, you want another treat? If I give you one, will you go away? Because I need space and you're in my way. Oh, yes, hello. Yes, yes. Go. I do play this little game with her with these treats. It gives her something to do. I throw them up the hallway, but I also throw them up the stairs. And she goes, vroom. She goes running after the, she's like a little bolt of lightning up the stairs. Um, I'll show you the garden. I did get some plants, which I can't show you because it's dark now and they're outside, but I did get some new plants for the garden out in the garden center bit. Um, so to give you an idea on price, I got this gorgeous azalea and it is, I mean, it's quite an established one. It's a shrub and it's about probably about that wide so it's quite a, a nice size shrub in the garden centers they tend to be quite pricey but in in the big red it was um three pound fifty which i thought was really good because you'll probably be paying over ten pound for that in a in a garden center um and it's like a bright bright pink color really nice sort of tropical bright pink so i've got that i've also recently set up like a little um, alpine plant rockery area and well the rockery was already there but it was kind of there was nothing in it and it was looking a bit sorry for itself so um, mum planted up some little alpine plants for me and for Christmas she got me lots of little fairy um, like little fairy houses and little toadstools um, and so we've created like almost like a little fairy garden and so I got some more alpine plants to put in that and they were £2.50 each and I got an upright fuchsia which again was £2.50 um, so fuchsia? that's not what it's called is it? a fuchsia? yeah it is isn't it? a fuchsia the dangly lantern style pink ones it's not freesia no, no, no it's not freesia it is fuchsia I am thinking of the right one anyway I got one of those <laughs> they're outside but yeah really good price if you need some new plants for spring summer it is definitely cheaper that is one of the things that was cheaper today is the plants I was quite impressed with the variety that they had also the quality that they had their plants I, I don't know what they're feeding them but they were really really you know sometimes you see plants in um like garden centers and that and they just look a bit crap just a bit scraggly and horrible these ones were really they're obviously really well fed um but yeah good pricing i got to go in my little my little fairy garden i got this little door they've called it i think they've called it a pixie portal um yeah pixie portal which was uh 6.99 um again not cheap cheap but it is quite a heavy it's like a resin um, but it is quite heavy so hopefully it will withstand any uh any bad winds that we get because it is really, really the whole whole of this week has been bad in terms of the weather actually we've had some some really bad wind but yeah my little pixie portal and you can hang it up as well if you want to 
but mine's gonna it's got a nice heavy base and it's just gonna sit in my little rockery it's got a little bell how cute is that it's got a little bell on top of the front door <laughs> yeah i thought that was really cute so that's my little garden ornament and then onto the seaside stuff it's just a couple of bits left guys um i got this plaque everything is better at the beach and it's got a little lighthouse and a little <laughs> are you coming back again Teo? she's gone around the back of the camera um i got this little lighthouse and uh a little beach house little seagulls and little little bird on top of the of the hate which is really cute yeah it's on like a, a wooden a wooden rope and uh, that's going to hang up. When I first moved into this, <laughs> when I first moved into this place, it is, I haven't taken it down yet. By the by, the back door, there is one of those really sort of dated welcome signs, um, and it's got birds on it. But it's really dated. It's the kind of thing like your nan would have, and it's it's not. My, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's not my cup of tea. Um, but I've been looking for something to replace that with. So at the moment, it's still in there but um, that's what's gonna go there. So it'll be by the back door when you come in. And I got, this I thought was really unusual actually. Oh, that was 5 99 by the way. All of these, um, the, the, the the pixie portal was, um, was 6 99 All of these sea themed things are 5 99 each. Um, this one I thought was quite unusual. It's a solid wood. I don't know what type of wood it is, but I think it might be mango wood. Um, and it's got this anchor with a heart, but it's in this sort of um, shiny gloss. I don't know if that's gonna show up very well on camera. Oh, there you go. It's like a shiny gloss uh, coating that they've put almost like an enamel type paint on the top. But I thought that was really nice. And again, it's like a little wooden, little wooden rope. Um, that is the, the tag on it which is quite cute and it's got this little wooden bead but yeah I thought that was quite unusual I haven't seen one like that before so that's going to go up in there I do have some spare nails hanging up on the conservatory wall and then the last thing I got I really like this it's quite contemporary it's this um, anchor anchor ornament I thought that was really nice. I think it's meant to be, I don't know which way round it is. Is that the, I think it's meant to be that way around. Um, yeah, you've got this, again, I think it's mango wood. You've got this gorgeous wood base, but it has got the little foam, uh, the little foam pads on the bottom. So it protects your surfaces, which is nice. And then it's got, a proper metal this isn't um because you know sometimes with cheap ornaments you get things that look like metal but they're not they're like plastic painted plastic this is actually metal i don't know what type but it is pretty heavy so quite good quality um and uh yeah with a nautical rope around it but i thought that was really sweet and that's gonna go in my conservatory on the uh, on the window ledge i think or it might go on my I've got a big wooden dresser in there, so I might I might put it on there. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to have a little play around. But anyway, those were all my my little bits and bobs that I got. As I say, it was from the Big Red. Any locals watching this video would recommend going in there, even if it's just for a little mooch in the afternoon and you're not sure what to do. Um, it's a it's a nice place to visit. They do some good stuff and uh, a lot of a lot of variety in there. Anyway, so you were babes. Um, I'm going out tomorrow to a place called Norman, I think it's called Normanby Hall. Um, it's like a manor house and gardens and there's a country park there as well. So yeah, I'm going to um, have a little walk around there. So I'm looking forward to that. And what was the other? Um, that museum I went to last weekend, there was also um, near North Highcombe, there is literally just a few minutes drive from where that transport museum is there is a country park there i really recommend that um if uh, if anyone's in that lincoln area is to go to the um country park just by north highcombe um i can't remember what it was called it began with a h i think it was it was it heart hearts home hearts home 
um, lakes and country park. It was fab. Really, really lovely walk. They've got a huge um, pond there. Well, I say pond. It's kind of a mini lake. <laughs> it's a bit bigger than a pond. Um, but it's got this bridge going across it. And yeah, you can do like a full circuit all the way around um, in the woods. And um, yeah, really, really beautiful. So I would recommend that uh, as well. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like my video and I will speak to you again soon. I shall try and get some more, some more content up. I'm going to try and do a probably a, a, a bit of a combination of home bargains and B&M next time because I've not been to B&M for quite a long time. So I'm looking forward to going there and having a having a little look and see what they've got new in. I'm hoping they might have changed some of the stock around since I last went. So yeah, if uh, if you guys would be interested in me doing that type of content, then let me know and I shall speak to you soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.